welcome to Ecanic. In this video, we're going to show you how to troubleshoot lift gate um, or boot issues on Audi vehicles that have electronic um, lift gate. So, if your trunk doesn't open, then this video could be helpful for you. So, what you want to do is you want to plug in the Ecanic scanner into the OBD2 port under the dash, and then you go ahead and um, turn on the ignition without starting the engine and then turn on the Ucanic scanner and go to diagnostics and select Audi and then you can do smart lane it selects the model for you but if that does not work you can go to manual selection and then scroll down until you see your Audi model and here we're working on a 2015 Audi Q7 okay uh, it's this line right here Audi Q7 2007 and newer this is 2016 and newer, so we're following this line 66 right here. So that, that means 2007-2015. You can select 2015, 3.0 turbo engine, press OK. Then go to Diagnostics, go to Control Module, and scroll towards the bottom where you see the Leapgate Control Module. It's Trunk elect Electric Control System. 47 or 60 select it now if you don't get if you get no communication it could be that you don't have this control module installed on the car but if you are sure you do have make sure it's getting power it's getting uh, it's not water damaged uh, if it keeps saying no communication the module itself might be faulty but if you get to this screen you're communicating with the module so you can read the codes here and this is where you will get some help and see like uh, if there is a fault that's been triggered or something uh, if one of the struts is defective it'll say open circuit or things of that nature in this case we don't have a code but once you fix that issue you address it you can come back and hit clear codes yeah, we're gonna do it but even though in this case there isn't any fault codes present ACU information gives you hardware and software versions for the trunk electronic control system so you can see those here which is good if you need a repair replacement part live data go to custom list select all press ok this shows all the data that is being monitored by this control unit so by the trunk electronic control system okay uh, this is the data that it's seeing and that it monitors. Now this data does get updated live so if you switch uh, you, for example press the button to to open uh, the lift gate it will it will change in here. It's gonna update live in here not operated trunk button trunk outside handle not operated inside handle not operated driver door not operated remote control so if you press let's say the remote control one uh, or the driver's door, this will change to operated, and you should see them change. Um, so that's good for troubleshooting to see if the car is actually getting the signal. And then you can also use the scan tool to operate the, uh, the lift gate. Go to active test, selective active test, and then for example, you can do open boot, close it, and a few other tests. So we do open boot lift and then press start. And if there is any issues with the control module, if the voltage is too low, you might get refused by control module or a 10.8 volt, which is pretty low. But it could also indicate a problem with the control module itself. So let's go back. And that is one way to troubleshoot Audi trunk electrical issues using the Ucanic scanner. Thank you for watching Ucanic, where you can be the mechanic.